This video will be on how to operate the Casio Cash Register. This help document, which takes you through each of the steps, will be on the laptop computer in the trailer and also should be printed out next to the Cash Register. The first step in operating the Casio Cash Register is to turn the key to the register position. For each item that a customer is purchasing, simply press the corresponding key on the register. For instance, if a customer is buying a red Fraser, simply press the red Fraser key. If they're buying a large wreath, press the large wreath key. For entering items sold by the foot, such as garland, first enter the number of feet and then press the quantity key. Then press the corresponding key, either Fraser garland or cedar garland. So if someone's buying 20 feet of garland, you simply press 20, quantity, Fraser, and the price rings up as $40. The same would be true if they were getting 10 feet of cedar garland, except that it's more expensive, so it's $30. You can use this same technique if a customer is buying more than one of an item. For instance, if someone is buying two Fraser furs, you can simply do two quantity and it'll ring up two Fraser furs. This is the same as if you would just simply hit the Fraser, the white Fraser fur key twice. For any item that doesn't have an item key on the keyboard, simply use the miscellaneous key. To use the miscellaneous key, you first enter in the amount of the sale. For instance, if a scout receives $5 in tips and they bring it to the cash register, then you simply enter in 500 miscellaneous, and that rings it up under miscellaneous. Um, if y'all happen to make Charlie Brown trees, and you price it at $10. Again, you can use the miscellaneous key. So it would be $10 and miscellaneous. After all items have been entered, press the subtotal key. This will give you the total charge for this customer. Tell the customer the total after they give you cash, check, or sign the credit card receipt and we'll do a separate video on using the credit card machine. Press the amount tendered key to print the receipt and open the cash register drawer. Take the cash, check, or sign credit card receipt and place it in the drawer and then close it. Give the customer the receipt, thank them for their business, and you are finished with this customer. Fixing a mistake. If the last item you entered was a mistake and you've not yet pressed any other key, simply press the error correction or cancel key. For instance, if you hit red Fraser, but you really meant to hit blue Fraser, you can simply hit the error correction and it will take that out of the register and then you can hit blue Fraser. If instead you've already hit another key after making your mistake, so again, I'll hit red Fraser, and now I've hit cross wreath, and I really meant to have a blue Fraser in there, then you use the refund key. So you would press RF for refund, and then red Fraser, and now, once again, you can go ahead and enter in the blue Fraser that you meant to enter. The same is true if you've already pressed the subtotal key. So if I had entered in red Fraser and then hit subtotal, but I really meant to enter blue Fraser, once again, I can refund red Fraser and then hit blue Fraser and finish out the operation. Okay. If a customer returns an item, or if you catch a mistake after you have pressed the amount tendered key, press the refund key followed by the key for the item being returned or the item mistakenly entered. 
If multiple items are being returned, repeat this two-step sequence for each item that is being returned. When all returned items have been entered, press the amount tendered key to print the receipt and open the cash drawer. Let's go through an example. I have a customer that brings back a red tree and a Cinco large stand and they want a refund. So I simply press refund, red Fraser, refund, Cinco large stand, and I'm out tendered. I can now give the customer either their check back if their check is still here or pay them in cash. It is okay to pay a customer in cash if they have charged their credit card or written you a check previously. If they would prefer to have the refund issued to their credit card, follow the separate process for refunding a credit card. To open the cash drawer without making a sale, simply press the no sale button. To advance the register tape, you can press the receipt feed button. This is helpful if you need to look at the tape to see what you have already charged a customer. For instance, if I hit Red Fraser, Cross Reef, and Prolong, and I get distracted and I'm not sure what I've actually charged them, then I can hit the receipt and I can now see what I've already put in the register. To change the cash register paper roll, remove the paper cover from the rear, lift up the paper holder, take out the empty spool, place a new spool in there in its place, pull the paper out, and close the paper holder and press down until it snaps. You can now replace the cover. and you're finished.